How's it going everybody? This is Darren with GuitarControl.com bringing you this video lesson and today I've got three uh, fun and easy riffs for you that um, are made up of just uh, octaves. Uh, so these are like cool riffs, they're fun to play and they're also really a great exercise for developing uh, this technique. So right now Guitar Control is giving away this really cool free chord chart. There's a link down in the description where you can get yours. It has every chord you could ever need all neatly compiled onto one sheet, and it's in PDF format, so you can download it, you can print it off, you can put a copy in your gig bag, put a copy where you practice. So just whatever situation you're in, you can have any chord you need at a glance, and it's a free download. So be sure to click on the link in the description for the tabs, and let's get close up and take a look at these. All right, so the uh, first thing, uh, I'm just gonna go over what I'm referring to here. So. <laughs> An octave is just, you know, when you're playing the same note, you know, after you've already gone through the scale, it's on the next set up. So when we're doing this for a riff, if you, any note you play, and this works across all the strings except uh, one thing that I'll explain when we, when we get there. Uh, so like here, if I go to the fifth fret on the low E string, that's an A. Now if I skip a fret and skip a string, so that's going to put me on the seventh fret of the D string, it's the same note. So that shape, skip a fret, skip a string, is the same no matter what frets you're on, and it's also the same on the strings. So if I do it between the, the A and the, and the G string, it's the same thing. But now if I go up to the D and the B string, I have to play, there's two frets in between now, because the B string is tuned a half step lower than the rest of the strings. But for these riffs that we're gonna be doing here, they're just gonna be on the, uh, the A and the G string, and that's where you're gonna find where a lot of these kinds of riffs uh, are. So when you're when you're playing this, the trick is that if I'm just if I just want to get this D here and here, but I don't want to hear all those other open strings. I don't want. I just want. So what I'm doing is I'm fretting the note on the A string with my first finger, and then I'm actually using the tip of my finger, just like up here, like close to the nail as a way to keep the low E string muted. And then the pad of my finger is touching the D string and keeping it muted. And my third finger is picking up the seventh fret of the G string, and my first finger is also muting the B and the high E string. So when I strum, I just get those two sounds, and then you also get that, that kind of percussive sound in there too. It just sounds really cool, and can, uh, some neat things can be done with it. So the first one to look at here is the riff from uh, Fire uh, by Jimi Hendrix. So this one here, we're going to start off. We're on the 11th fret of the A string and the 13th fret of the G string. So again, low E string is muted, D string is muted, getting the G string, and the high E and B string is muted. So we've got... We hit this on the downbeat of one, it's a quarter note. And then on the downbeat of two, we're just gonna move it down a half step. So now I'm on the 10th fret of the A string and the 12th fret of the G string. And then we slide out of that, so. And then we rest on beats two. Okay, so that's the first measure. Then the second measure, we're gonna start off 8th fret of the A string and 10th fret of the G string. And we're going to hit this on the downbeat of one. And then on the end of one, we're going to slide it up a whole step. So one and, and then on the downbeat of two, we're going to take the shape. And now we're going to move it down strings. So we're going to stay here on the 10th and 12th fret but we're gonna move our fingers down, so now my first finger's on the 10th fret of the low E string, and my third finger's on the 12th fret of the D string. And we hit that on the downbeat of two, and then on the and of two, we hit it again and slide out of it, but it's a dotted quarter note, so it takes care of all the way through beat three, and then we rest on beat four, and then it starts over again. So we've got... <laughs> So it's something you can kind of do there for fun that I, I'll do as I'll... Is where those rests are. 
-hmm. I'll put some like, you know, mute strums or something in there just to kind of make it a little more interesting when I'm playing it, you know, by myself. All right, so the next we're going to look at is the riff from Black and Blue by Van Halen. So this one isn't just isn't only octaves it has some other stuff in it uh, that I'm gonna add in here as well just to make it so it, it has some resolve when you play it so we're gonna start off second fret of the A string so we skip a string and skip a fret so that's gonna put us on to the fourth fret of the G string we rest on uh, beats one two and three and then this starts on beat four so it's eighth notes so we've got four and so the and of four, we just slide it up a whole step. So now we're at the fourth and sixth uh, frets. So. so that's the first measure. And then on the second measure, we're going to move this up a half step again. So now we're on the fifth fret of the A string. And we're on the seventh fret of the D string. And we hit that on the downbeat of one. But then on the and of one, we rest. And then we hit it again on the downbeat of two. And then on the and of two, we rest, downbeat of three, and of three, we rest, downbeat of four, and of four, we rest. So, uh, so for beats one and two, we've got one, and, two, and, and then we're going to move it down a half step, three, and, four, and. So. Then, for uh, measure three, we're going to be back here to two and four, and we're going to hit this on the downbeat of one, one, and then on the end of one, we hit the open low E string, and then on the end, or excuse me, the downbeat of two, we're going to pick the third fret, and I'm going to use my middle finger so I can just stay in this position, and we're going to just do a little quarter step bend and pull off to the open string. We do that twice. Two and three and. Then on uh, beat four, we're gonna we're right back to here again. So beat four is like the beginning of this. It's like beat four of the first measure. So we've got four and. Now on the the fourth measure here, we're gonna scoot up a half step again. But instead of just doing the octave, we're gonna do a D five power chord. So another thing that's good about this is it's kind of giving you a way to you know, practice making the transition between the two ideas of just doing a, a uh, octave or doing a power chord, a fifth power chord, because they're, they go together uh, really well and it's a common thing to kind of mix them up. So we're going to hit that one and two and three. On the downbeat of three, we're going to go to an A5. And then the downbeat of four, open low E string, and the and of four, E5. So this E5, we're doing it up here. So seventh fret of the A string, and then the ninth fret of the D and G string, and the low E string open. And then the last we're going to look at is the riff from uh, Machine Head uh, by uh, Bush. So uh, this one, uh, again, is the just that same octave shape. But this one here is only on the A and the G string. All right, so we start off. We're on the fourth fret of the A string, first finger, sixth fret of the G string, uh, third finger. And again, that same, we want to mute that D string. Well, we technically want to move all the rest of the strings. We just want to hear those two notes. So we hit this one and, and then we're going to uh, move it up a half step. So now we're at the fifth and seventh fret. And so now we've got uh, two E and, so it's three sixteenth notes there. Two E and, uh, so on the, uh, the and of uh, two, we're gonna move it up to seven. And then uh, on the downbeat of three, we do seven again. And then we're going to move it up a whole step. So we're at the ninth and the eleventh fret. And this is for beat four. Four. And then uh, we're going to go back down to seven. And then. 
down a half step to uh, six and eight. So this one's probably a little bit tougher than the first two, just simply based on the speed. But don't worry about the speed. Just worry about getting the, the clarity and the timing and everything down. The speed will come with time. All right, so there you have it. Uh, three uh, cool guitar riffs that are based in octaves that aren't too terribly difficult to play and also make really great exercise for working on the technique. So if you like this lesson, be sure to give me a thumbs up and leave a comment down below if you have any questions about this or other guitar-related topics. Uh, if you've not already done so, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of the content that we upload throughout the week. Well, that is all I have for you today. Thanks for watching and have a great day.